Chris here from Must Buy Stuff Cheap. And in this video, we'll be discussing this 2002 BMW 325 CI convertible recently bought from a tow yard auction. Lean sale tow yard auction for about $1,500. Hey, would you buy this 2002 BMW 325 CI from a lean sale tow yard auction for about $1,500? A good running car? I think you would. Hey, smash, like, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching. Hey, in a previous video, I showed you how this vehicle came out of the Lean Cell Tow Yard auction. It was full of trash, it was full of clothes, stolen items, drugs, drug paraphernalia, money. And I will put those photos in this video so you can check out what came inside this car after I purchased it from the Lean Cell Tow Yard auction. Hey, and when you go to some lean sell toy auctions, some of the items come with the car, sold as is. Other lean sell toy auctions, they'll clean the car out and they'll purchase the car that way. Yet in this case, at this lean sell toy auction, the seat of orange, all the items came in it, all the drugs, paraphernalia, different marijuana, maybe some needles, and what else you get, some strategies is be careful what you purchase. Be careful when you're cleaning out the car. If you go to those auctions that they leave stuff inside the car for you to clean out. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. Be careful, follow my strategies when purchasing the vehicle. Check the oil, hear the car run, check the oil cap, look underneath the car, check the radiator fluid. Look under the vehicle for any leaks, any cracks, anything. And major, major part of it is listen to the motor, make sure it doesn't smoke, make sure it's not overheating. Uh, and that's the telltale sign that you're getting a great deal. And a lot of times when they leave the lean tail toy auctions, is they'll put the car in gear, they'll drive them around the lot, however, and that is your portion to inspect the vehicle. Hey, I can teach you how to make money buying cars, buying items, or just getting stuff cheap. So that's what I'm saying. Let's buy stuff cheap here. Yes. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hey, let's take a look around this 2002 325 CI convertible. Let's go. So I'm going to keep the air condition on as I drive at the convertible top down. It's uh, 90 degrees here in, in or Mission Viejo, California. Um, go ahead and put it in gear and also you can either put it in manual. Uh, and actually there's no clutch per se. So what you got to do is you have to uh, kind of move it down. As you see, so as I, you move the gear shift down, it pops the gear. It goes, runs through the gear. They got probably five like transmission so you'll see it move there and take back to one and then the, you push it up to go back to the to the lower gear higher gears two three four five and then you go four and it goes back to two if you want to go one and just go two three four and that's just moving that clutch down so i really i really enjoy that portion of the vehicle that you can almost make it a manual uh, a manual vehicle you will not have to continuously put push down the clutch because back in the day when I was a young man uh, I used to buy a lot of the older muscle cars probably should have tried to keep a lot of those muscle cars but the clutches were very very hard to push down and kind of made your your left calf a little bit stronger than your right calf because you're just pushing down on that extremely hard clutch with these older V8s like from Camaros to Dodge Chargers Challengers um, you know GTO 2002 325CI BMW convertible recent month for the Lean to Auction about for 1500 bucks. Hey, there's a, a preview video before this video that shows how this vehicle came out of the Lean Sale Toyota Auction with all the, the trash and stuff that was left inside. How uh, the person in this vehicle lost the vehicle. Let me see how does did this person lose this vehicle? I believe this person was taken into custody because they ran into a small tree. Do you see the little dent in the front and I think they got him for a DUI I think it was more for a drug arrest a drug stop there were a lot of drug uh, paraphernalia, paraphernalia inside the vehicle I did do a good clean out of it I cleaned it out yet still trying to clean it out put some armor on the seats and as you see here uh, the vehicle kind of was in rough shape still but it actually runs very very good a good running car, 175,000 original miles, runs excellent, drives, fun, such a fun car to drive. Really, really, really fun, fun drive. 
um, that you see down there. See, it's a little it's dirty. Um, so I guess the idea of the personal loss. So I still got to do a little bit of work and cleaning it out. But overall, it's really clean. Runs really good. Ice cold AC. Just a uh, fun, fun car. I love convertibles. I really do. Fun, fun car to drive. Um, let's go ahead in and take the convertible top down. And we'll take it. Just the motor so healthy, healthy, healthy. And probably on the market, you could probably get about $3,000 for this car. Or I may just donate it and uh, give it to someone that may be in need of a vehicle or just give them a good deal. Um, like I said, there's all kinds of good deals to be had out there. So, oh, yeah, I want to show you how the, the actual top comes down. So there's you know, these dials right here, as you see right here. And then uh, you just kind of push that button and it releases the lock the lock there and there goes the top just keep holding the button and I get a little rev to get some power so, there and there goes the top and the cover so cool 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 and that little button releases it and the button next it also raises the window which you keep your your finger on the button and kind of seals them which is uh, cool fully automated good BMW the German car they really made make a good car make a good BMW I like these cars yet they are expensive to fix if the motor goes out of them so this is actually putting up the top and I do like to give a little rev there's the top and then keep your finger on the button keep your finger on the button and you see the little locks right here the locket and it's automated and locks itself Kind of cool, keep your finger on the button and windows go up. But since it's a hot day, I'm going to put the windows down. So, cool, huh? So, give you another shot of the visual of the top. BMW, we see about from Elite Toy Auction, you too can get good deals out there. So, I'm going to keep the air condition on as I drive with the convertible top down. It's uh, 90 degrees here in, in or Mission Viejo, California. Um, go ahead and put it in gear and also you can either put it in manual uh, and actually there's no clutch per se so what you got to do is you have to uh, kind of move it down as you see so as you move the gear shift down it pops the gear it goes runs through the gear they got probably five like transmission so you'll see it move there and take back to one and then uh, you push it up to go back to the to the lower gear higher gears two three four five and then you go four, and it goes back to two if you want to go one, and just go two, three, four, and that's just moving that clutch down. So I really, I really enjoy that portion of the vehicle that you can almost make it a manual, uh, a manual vehicle you without having to continuously put push down the clutch. Because back in the day when I was a young man, uh, I used to buy a lot of the older muscle cars. Probably should have try to keep a lot of those muscle cars, but the clutches were very, very hard to push down. It kind of made your your left calf a little bit stronger than your right calf because you're just pushing down on that extremely hard clutch with these older V8s like from Camaros to Dodge Chargers, Challengers, um, you know, GTO.
BMW brakes before, but hey, these are always the first. So let's go for a ride. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this uh, BMW for a ride. I'll show you how much fun it is. So I got, um, just listen to the motor. That's the reason I bought it. You don't even have to jump at the battery. It's a brand new battery in it. I'll go ahead and put my seatbelt on. You see the little cluster here for the little indicator. Go on the video. Oh, uh, 176,000 original miles. Runs great. Service engine needs an oil change. Um, airbag probably needs to be just the wire needs to be checked a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the AC on because it is hot here in Mission VAO. So I'm gonna point out a, uh, the gear shifter first. So you can either have manual or standard automatic and plus and minus. So if you wanna uh, switch it over to manual transmission, you just move the gear shift over and a little bit more fun so you're actually uh, almost almost in control of the RPMs um, yet at times it may uh, the governor may come on and keep you from going to the 6,000 uh, RPM mark in order to be blown up the motor but um, we'll go ahead and try it out and see if it if it's really going to be governed out of 6,000 but pretty much can hear the motor that's that uh, it'll tell you it's out that you should really be shifting the the, to the next gear so again if you want to move want to move to the next gear that's back um, and then you go down you go I guess down my thing would be up the chain or down to your second third fourth fifth only five gears then you go uh, back so you're moving all the way so you got five you go four three two one when you're slowing to a stop so as you see right here let's say manual and go one two three four five so far go back same thing when i show the indicator with the when it kicks over manual well back in the day um it's almost a manual because if it was really a true manual uh transmission you would have to actually have a clutch and use your left um leg to do the shifting um in europe it's the opposite uh almost the opposite yet we're here in america so we drive on the left hand side um and if it was a manual transmission with the clutch like back in the day with the old muscle cars your left calf would become and would be become stronger the left leg would become stronger than your right leg because of all the shifting especially in bumper to bumper traffic yeah it's a nice feature i have this feature on my camaro and then a few other cars that i have have the, the feature yet nowadays the more later model cars it's like paddle shifters on your actual steering wheel so you're actually shifting with your fingers instead of or your hand or your fingers you're shifting with that or in some cases like a older Porsche that I have like a 2002 Porsche Boxer I have it's kind of a little thumb triptronic switch it switches and moves the gear on if you really want to go into the automatic mode so let's just drive this down the street and so you can kind of get the feel of all this 2002 BMW I think back, back in the day when I was first purchasing, these cars are going to ride around $35,000 uh, brand new or retail. To actually have a car depreciate that much over the years to about uh, reality of a $1,500 car bought from Leeds on Toyota Auction. Probably in the market, probably you can get maybe you know, $3,000 for it, but this car drives really, really good. It's such a fun car, fun convertible to have here in California. Um, during the day, not so much. It's so hot, it kind of sun beats down on you. So I have my, uh, oh, and another thing is to purchase the vehicle with, it needs brake pads, so you can actually hear the brake pads up front. I'm going to replace those. Probably take me about an hour, but yet I haven't changed a set of BMW brake pads, probably ever. It's probably the first time, but hopefully it's uh, straightforward and kind of generic as modes changing brake pads are. And hopefully it just take me an hour. Or if you're kind of a novice, it may take you a little bit longer. But watch a video on YouTube. You know, they'll show you how. It's always how to. It's back in like in the day when I was younger, we would have books like actual managers. You would have to go to the library and purchase, or go to the library and view how to actually uh, fix a car, or go rent a book, or go to Pet Boys buy the book, take the book back. But nowadays, pretty much everything's you know digital and online. It's a video. There's a video about it. 
or some sort of um, just some sort of video or information. So much information out there right now. So we're gonna drive this around real quick. I'm just gonna kind of go through the gears and do that. We're gonna collude this drive with this fifteen hundred dollar BMW. 325ci convertible really love a drop top you can hear the brakes squeak but hey just be wary what you're purchasing out there so again i'm gonna go ahead and so we're on fifth gear so we'll go back down again fourth second third i want to go drop it down even more horsepower see the rpms are picking up see nope wow it's gonna let me go to the 6000 rpm so we got third gear. This car's flying about almost 65, 80 miles. I got, I got a lot of pedal too. Lots of pedal, lots of pedal. Man, wow. This thing's moving. Oh, you're gonna break the brake pads. Wow, fifth gear. All right, here we go. Basically, the fifth gear is like the overdrive gear on the freeway, just drives so smooth. So we can take it back down, and you can see, kind of helps you slow down too. You're gonna do that. You, usually, if your brakes were bad, you can usually you have the clutch, you let out the clutch to help you slow down. And there we go, back to second. You see the car slowing down itself, like it'll help slow down the car if you have bad brakes and then back to one. So anyways, hey, thanks for riding with me. Smash like, subscribe. Thank you again for taking time to view this video. Hey, if you like what we're doing? Again, smash, like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get 1,000 subscriptions so I could start to monetize my video and just to make a little bit of money to help me purchase vehicles, purchase different items for cheap, and also show you how to buy items cheap. Well, the motto, my motto is, let's buy stuff cheap together. Let's keep buying stuff cheap. And let's make our money stretch further and further and further. In these days and times, we have to try to make our money stretch further and further and further. So again, thank you very much for taking time to view my videos. Hey, check out my other videos. And again, smash like, subscribe, and let me know down in the comments down below of what you think about the purchases, about the cars I'm buying, about the deals, the strategies. Um, you want any further help or where to go to find cars in your area, just, hey, comment down below. Send me an email. Um, let's buy stuff cheap at yahoo.com. Send me an email. I will answer it. And I do answer all my emails and I do reply to comments. So again, thank you very much for watching this video.